up guys welcome back to another team dignitas interview today we're interviewing pterodactyls for the win aka sheila she is a csgo streamer so we have a few questions for you today sheila the first one is how did you get into streaming and csgo in particular well i got into streaming uh, I wanted to stream years and years and years ago back when I played League of Legends and I had a few friends who were just like well why don't you stream League it'd be really fun to watch you but I never had good enough internet mm -hmm. and uh, once I moved to California uh, last year you know a year and a half ago I'd say uh, I just picked it up as something fun to do and it just ended up being a lot bigger than I was even expecting but mm -hmm. uh, I started playing CSGO mostly because League got a little boring for me, and my mm -hmm. friends who I played League with said, oh, well, I wanted to try out CS, and then I uh, just kind of fell in love with it. I've never played CSGO before. I'm really bad at first-person shooters. Like, in general. Yeah, I was really <laughs> bad at first. Like, I'm still pretty bad, but I was really bad before. Well, I think you're pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> so, um, how do you interact with your viewers in CSGO? Um, I usually don't do any viewer games or anything mm -hmm. with my viewers because I'm like super, super competitive and I get really <laughs> ragey and I don't want to yell at my viewers. Yeah. Uh, so I had to, I have done sub wars before where I like my friend's subs and my subs, we all play together mm -hmm. and that's a lot more fun, but, uh, no, I usually just interact with them through chat though. And they just make fun of me when I miss shots <laughs> and, stuff, and it's a good time. Yeah, good, good most of the time, right? <laughs> most. So, um, what do you enjoy the most about being a streamer? Uh, honestly, it's the people that you meet through, mm -hmm. through streaming. I've made really, really good friends from my chat, and it's just always entertaining. You get the, you get the, some weird people <laughs> who say some mean things, but a lot of the people oh, are really, really sweet, and they're just, it's, uh, I think that's my favorite part. Yeah, one of my favorite parts is that like all the people in high school and stuff that you didn't connect with, there's like a whole world out there of people that are just like us yeah. and that we can like be friends with and it's such a fun time. <laughs> um, so I know that you've been streaming for a while, but do you see streaming as a gateway into other esports or are you content with staying where you're at? Uh, I mean, I would, I would absolutely love to, to do something else in esports. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love streaming, but I mean, I know it's not something that's gonna last forever. Yeah. Uh, but I really would love to, to do something else. I'd really love to, like, maybe learn a new, maybe like you're doing, interview someone, or mm -hmm. just be able to give something more than just, you know, just streaming. We'll see someday, maybe. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same position. I don't really know where it's going to take me, but we're just kind of here and doing our thing. Doing our thing, yeah. <laughs> so, um, as a female streamer, we encounter a lot of issues of being a female streamer, but is there any particular e issues between being a CSGO female streamer than wouldn't other streamers see? Uh, I think we all kind of have the same, the same issues, just mm -hmm. being being a woman I uh I mean I take the game very seriously and I want to be the best that I can be and mm -hmm. even when I'm trying my hardest it's still just like people come in and are like wow you're so bad or like wow you're a girl you suck and it's yeah. just like all right well you know I'm trying it's not like I'm not trying but I think all girls get that I, I don't think you're never not gonna face adversity just being a woman people are just like oh you're a girl you suck bye <laughs> Hey. Constantly. And if they're not there coming for your gameplay, they're just there because you're a girl. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, goodness. Streamer problems. But we won't I mean, go too much into yeah. that. <laughs> no, I, have, I don't get, like, you know, I'm not up in the thousands of viewers, mm -hmm. but the good, the good amount of viewers that I have are, they, they're here to watch me as yeah. a person, and they're here to watch the game, and I know that, and they know that, and I've met, they're amazing. I love all of my viewers. Then you get the few new people who come in, and they'll say what they want, but I They learn I love, quick, though. They learn quick, yeah. I love <laughs> who I have now. That's awesome. So you also play on a CSGO team. Do you find it difficult to combine your streaming schedule with your practice schedule and with playing games? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, when I first, first started, uh, I stream at, like, 9 or 10 p.m., you know, in California time, 
time. My mm -hmm. time. And I stream till maybe like 6 a.m. But our practice, because my team are all West Coast, we all, and like they work too, we start practicing at like 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. so sometimes we practice from 9 p.m. to like 11 or midnight. Then I don't get to stream till later, which is like even later. I yeah. mean, I could stream in the day, but uh, I don't like that. So it's just, it's it was really tough to balance the streaming and mm -hmm. practice. And plus, I think I'm, I'm playing Counter-Strike for four hours a day practicing, and then I have to stream it for another however many hours. It's, it gets a little, it's hard, but I mean, it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I mean, I go to bed at like nine, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know how you do it. Like the few times that I do catch your stream, I'm like, dang, it's bedtime, man. Yeah. I can't. Or it's just like, or I'm like, well, you're waking up, and I'm just yeah. like, right, I'm about to go to bed at six a.m. Goodbye. Goodbye. Catch you later. <laughs> so because your um, sleep schedule is. A little opposite I could say mm -hmm. uh, what does a typical day look like for you well let's see I wake up go to sleep around 6 7 a.m. I wake <laughs> up around like maybe 1 or 2 p.m. I'll get up I'll eat I'll shower I'll get ready I'll do like just you know clean watch movies or something mm -hmm. and then you know if I have to go shopping run errands I'll go do that but then just uh, either depending on practice because sometimes we have practice around like four or five mm -hmm. and then or depending on nine I'll just wait till whenever we have practice usually and then uh, then I'll start my stream it's really just like I'm home all day and then I'm on the computer all day and that's kind of what I do uh, <laughs> with my days off you know I'll go out and I'll do some fun mm -hmm. things but uh, yeah it's just mostly counter-strike all day every day yeah. and then some k-dramas in between <laughs> So, um, because you play on this team right now, do you have any hopes of ever becoming a CSGO pro? I mean, that would be, that's the dream. That's I don't the dream, think anybody, man. anybody plays something to be... Mediocre. To be just like, oh yeah, I just want to be okay at this mm -hmm. game. But, I mean, I don't see it happening, um, but it would be, it would be amazing. I mean, yeah, I'm my cat to... keeps trying to jump up on me. Yeah. <laughs> She's, a. Uh... Cats, okay. My cat's like trying to tear up a box right now. Like craziness. I bet you could hear it. So, um, if you could put together a team with anybody, anybody, who would you want your four teammates to be? Sable, stop. Please. So <laughs> Please. Um it would be me, obviously. Obviously. Um Ocean, 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 and ocean. <laughs> the big Just Odig. All of them. The it. big SKDC Odig. <laughs> five, four of him. Five of him. I won't even. If play. we could clone, just could all clone. of it. Yeah, but no. Uh, realistically, I don't know. It's so tough to think about. There's so many good players. Yeah. Um, Happy from Team Envious is definitely one of Sable. my favorite players. Stop it. Um, device from. XTSM mm -hmm. is, is a really good player too. I don't know. They're just... Guardian is a better opera than me, but I would like him on my team anyway, but I still want to op. Mm. But I don't know. That's a tough one. Yeah, that is a little bit of a tough question. I'm going to go with four oceans though still. <laughs> well, do you have any shout outs to anybody that you would like to talk to? Um, I just, just didn't pass that guess. Oh my gosh. Pizza. Is that the cat? Oh, pizza. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll make it quick then. Thank you, Team Dignitas, for giving me the opportunity to do what I do and support me in what I'm doing. And, uh, yeah. And all of my viewers and my lovely viewers. And mom. Thanks, mom, for giving birth to me. <laughs> Well, again, thank you so much, everybody, who watched this video, and thanks again to all the Team Doing Toss sponsors. But other than that, we'll see you guys next time. All right, bye. Bye. Motherboard. And, you know, besides this motherboard looking really freaking cool, as you can see...